All right, y'all, welcome back to Broken Ladder Sports Gaming and our Backyard Baseball 2003 season playthrough with the Arizona Diamondbacks. This is it, guys. We have made the playoffs. Wasn't sure about it for a little while there. Wasn't sure we were going to make that final push, win those last games or the last game that we needed to. But we're in. We're the third seed. We're matched up against the Phillies, who beat us fairly handily earlier in the season. About as bad of a loss as we had at home. That being said, the playoffs now, whole different story. And we're in Tin Can Alley. We avoided it the entire season, didn't play here once, but now we are in Tin Can Alley because that's where the Phillies have their home field. No one has boosts or decreases, not surprisingly. Let's check their squad out. I actually think this field might help us. I think playing here might help us a little bit just because of all the line drives that get hit that end up in the outfield. Here, they won't leave the outfield. They'll stay in the infield, hit the wall, hit the truck, etc., etc. Not a lot of boosts either. Okay. I could see this playing to our advantage just a little bit. I mean, they're still going to be really good. They were really good during the regular season. But yeah, a remarkable lack of boost on this team. Not a lot of superstars. We'll see what happens, but this is a good matchup. Let's go. Keisha's back to 0, zero, zero just as everybody else is, because this is the playoffs. We're going to hit power with pretty much everybody in our lineup on this field. And that is exactly why. If you get it on top of the truck, you can run all day. And singles turn into doubles. Doubles turn into triples. Home runs. Keisha's on second. No outs. That's a great way to start right there. One pitch, an extra base hit. Pete's up. You won't take that one. That one's a high pop-up. Will it get to the newspaper stand? I don't think so. I guess those are dumpsters. That's the first out. Inside pitch to Ahmed, down and in. He goes down and gets it. Let's bluff with Keisha. Perfect, perfect. Come on, get there, Ahmed. Nice. That's a real nice glitch there. You just have to bluff just a tiny bit towards third as soon as they get the ball. And you'll force a throw there. We've been doing it all season. This is no different. It's a good spot for Pablo. Okay, well, on any other field, that would be a no doubt blast. All the way up the wall, out of the screen. But it's going to get Keisha home. Everyone else is going to just stand there. Despite this extended bouncing sequence. So Pablo is stuck with a single. That's kind of the crappy thing about this stadium. Is it, it takes certain home runs away. And it turns other hits into home runs. Inside the park home runs. That's a tough swing. Yeah. I think that's too close to take. Bit of a defensive swing there. But either way, it's two outs. You do have a run in. You got man on first and second. Barry, let's convert. There you go. We wait for that one to come back, but just a weak little pop-up. To the pitcher. She comes over and makes the catch for the third out. We get one run on three hits. Stranded couple going to the bottom of the first. I really don't remember all the boosts, to be honest, but Star Moon Meme is almost always the fastest player in the game. I had to put a lot more zone on that. But this is exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so that'll bounce off. We'll throw it to second and then to the pitcher. But that on a different field is easily a double and maybe more with Star Moonbeam speed. This truck is going to save us. Drake going for second. Even though they can't steal, this, this field plays extremely fast. I meant to say they can't slide. Ends up going with the right hook down and in. A little heat glitch there. Gale goes down swinging. Nice pitch, Angela. Nice little sequence there. Got a little bit rocky, but ultimately gets it. I'm gonna miss. Going for third. Can we get there? We should. Mikey's too slow. I think. Still don't really know what's going on there. I thought without the slide, we'd certainly be able to get them, but... 
Guess not. And that is strike three. A late swing. All right, Alexis goes down. They move the runner over to third from first. Pamela up. Grounder right to Derek. Should be able to make the play. Pete comes over and throws it to first. We have to do the thing. And we don't get it there in time. Scores a run. Almost got out of the inning. Just barely. But we don't. So there's two outs, man on second, and Dimitri's up. That one was too close to take, so Dimitri doesn't. We throw it to first, probably the worst place we could have thrown it, to be completely honest. They score another run. I thought Ken had a really good chance to catch that in center. I guess it went right over him. They keep trading places at second. We keep trying this heat glitch. And that actually drops in for a strike, but got to be a little more thoughtful here. And a walk. That is not what we wanted at all. Angela is throwing way, way too carefully right now. Needs to throw a little bit closer to the inside of the zone. We can't be walking people. Especially not in the playoffs, especially not against the Phillies. First pitch, little pop up to Keisha. She can't make the play. Derek's gonna throw it to third. We got a little pickle here if Mikey wants to pick up the ball and he does just in time. Tags are out. Three hits, three runs. Top of the second coming up. This is a field where Ken can absolutely feast. He can get anything in the air. Swing a little bit early on that one. Two outside pitches in a row, two strikes, one taken and one swinging. The rare, rare tough AB for Ken right there. As you might imagine, this field doesn't really help Mikey. No field really helps Mikey. But if he can lift it, he'll be okay. Sends it the other way. Jimmy Rollins at third base is gonna pick it up. Throw it to first for the easy out. Angela coming up. Two down. That one came back. She puts it into the ground. Pitcher's going to scoot over and grab it. Throw it to first for the third out. Nothing that inning. Jimmy, Tracy, Star coming up. Haven't seen Jimmy yet this game, but he crushed us a little bit the first game. Strike three. Some really bad swing in there from Jimmy. I would call it uncharacteristic and consider us lucky. Tracy coming up, no boost. Nice pitch there high and inside. Barry's gonna come out, make the easy catch for out two. Start coming up. Yeah, we got early juice. It's gonna be a real key here. Strike three. Star goes down looking and another K for Angela. That's four on the day. Got that early juice. Hopefully we can keep her in as long as possible. We obviously feel more comfortable bringing Barry or somebody else in now, but if we can keep Angela on the mound the entire playoffs, we have a good shot to win it. Another high pop-up for Keisha, but this one's not going to get on top of the truck. It'll stay with the pitcher, and she'll be the first out. Haven't taken a ton of pitches in this game. Really just swinging early, which is fine for most games, but I feel like we got to be a little more strategic in this one. Pete goes for line drive, then switches back to power. That was a good switch, too. I hope that hits the wall. Looks like it's going to. Pete's got speed. He can get to second, even without the slide, and he will be there safe. It's a double for Pete. Really nice late switch there. I think if he hits that with line drive, it maybe gets caught, but because he went power, it lifted it a little more. Ahmed gets a hold of one. Another home run for sure on a different field, but here it'll probably just be a double if we're lucky. Maybe a triple. Maybe it gets stuck up there. But we'll be happy with that. All right. 
Second run. Pete gets in. Ahmed's on second with a double. They're being stupid. And Pablo coming up. So, field seems to be working fairly neutral right now. But I hope we can take more advantage of it as the game goes along. Another crushed pitch. Pablo just can't stop hitting the ball hard. It's what he does. He'll get to second almost certainly. If Ahmed can get home, that would be excellent. If it bounces, he's in. And it does. Let's go. Even with the rocket throw. Another double. Pablo's on second. Still one out. Derek struck out his first time looking for a better plate appearance this time. That'll do just fine. He's gonna lift it enough to hit the truck. Outfielders lose their minds a little bit when they know it's gonna come off the wall. Derek's gonna try for second. Might be a mistake, but he gets there safe. Pablo scores. Four runs in. We take the lead. Nice contact. Is it gonna go? It's gonna get on top of the newspapers. Nice. Barry's got the speed to stretch a double. Derek's running backwards for no reason. We're gonna see if we can get home and get to third. Very aggressive here. We let the run score. Barry is chased all the way back to second and held to a double. He's doing it on the mound, guys. He's doing it at the plate, He's doing it on the base pass. Barry's been great for us lately. There's no doubt about that. Ken looking for a hit. Bad swing. In the area, but not quite the sweet spot. Hold the pitcher. Alexis coming in. Doesn't have a boost at all. I don't think she's that good at pitching either. Well, she can pitch a little bit. She can get Ken his second strike out of the day. Just below the zone. We had some pitches to hit there. Couldn't get it done. Mikey coming up, looking to get something going. Meaty. Sends it the other way. It's going to hit the wall. Can Mikey get to first is the question. So I'm pretty sure Barry can score. He's got good speed. And they fumble the bag a little bit on that one. Drop the throw home. Otherwise, I think he's out. Would have been close. But we go up three, y'all. We have doubled their run total on the day. Still two outs. Oh, Angela kills that one, but it's foul. I don't think anybody other than maybe Ken hits an angrier foul ball than Angela. Doesn't really get a hold of that one. They might drop it, though. They're fighting. Some infighting. Okay. Mikey's on second. Angela's on first. Their slow speed, not as much of a factor on this field. Just because as long as we get it in the air, everybody should probably be safe. How far is that one going to go? Looks like it's going to get on top of the truck. Everybody's off and running. Everybody is off and running. It is time to go. Angela, move your ass. Keisha is right behind you, trucking it. Angela's going to come home. I'm not sure Keisha's going to, but she's certainly going to try. Catcher comes out to make the play. No one's covering the plate. Keisha's going home. And she's out. But she does get two RBIs. That was pretty zany there. We put up seven runs in the inning. We're up 8-3, to three, going to the bottom of the third. Took advantage of some craziness there. Some craziness took advantage of us. Either way, good inning. And a ground bouncer through the infield. Ken's going to pick it up eventually. And throw it to second, not in time. But they are really cocky today. They were disrespectful on our field. About the most disrespect we saw all season. Looks like they're acting the same way at home. Little bunt, how fast is she? Come on, Angela, pick it up. Throw it to first. Nice. Good stretch there by Ahmed to get the close play at first. Pamela coming up. She had a double in her first at bat. Get her out. Another ground ball. Pete's going to come over, scoop it up, and the throw is not in time. I think we were caught off guard there a little bit. Okay. Cockiness knows no boundaries. It knows no boundaries. That's the third out. They ran themselves into two outs that inning. I have no idea what they're doing. But Pete Ahmed and Pablo are coming up looking to do some more damage. 
We like that one a lot more. A little pop up. Got the backspin. Could be a drop here, and it is. Heat safe on first. Bounces one. Second base side. Comes over to make the play. Dives but cannot make the play. Looks like we're going to have runners at the corners. No outs. Pablo, a double and a single as well. We got runners at the corners. I don't think this is a steal situation with Ahmed. I think he's going to stay put. No need to force it when you got Pablo. That's going to hit the wall. How fast can we get around the bases, y'all? Who's going where? Ahmed's going to third. Not going to be a close play. They throw it to the catcher just in case. But we're just stacking runs right now. This is turning out just how we want it to turn out. We're stacking runs. We're getting people on base and there's still no outs. Squares it. Hits it right into the ground. Ahmed's not going to go home. But Derek will be saved at first. And that is a weird throw. Pitcher completely confused about what to do in that situation. Ends up basically just tossing it to herself but we'll take a walk anyway He's gonna walk in a run barry gets to first his first walk of the year i believe our like fourth walk of the year maybe obviously first of the playoffs but barry whose eye has really not been there all season with a lot of bad strikeouts walks in a run very nice All right, Ken. Damn. Okay, so on any other field, that's our first Grand Slam of the year with a bullet. That would have been a no doubt, no contest, absolute smash. But on this field, it's a single. It'll get us two RBIs. There are still no outs. We've got men at first and second. But a Grand Slam would have been real delicious right there. They pull Alexis. They're putting Gale back in. Gets a lot of that one. Will it get on top of the truck? It will. It'll at least hit the side of it. Hopefully Ken can get to second in time. We'll reload the bases. Barry go back to third. All right. Good job, Mikey. Outside edge, she bounces it. Past the pitcher. Throw home. And a second. God damn. That was about an inch away. That was a good throw away from being the, third, the first triple play I've ever seen in this game. Basically the same pitch. A little lower. She goes down, lines it out to Dimitri, who catches it off the side of the trailer. So it's not an out. Ken will score. Yet another run. He should save it first. We'll have Pete coming up. And we're just piling on right now. This is turning into a bit of a blowout. I know they can come back and tie it up or make it close in any given inning. But right now, this field is really working to our advantage. Pete pops it up. That should be an out. Everybody get back. Actually, it's two strikes. Excuse me, two outs. We got a 10-run lead. Dimitri's coming up. Bottom of the fourth. Basically, everything is going exactly the way we want it to go right now. Truth is, we got a lot of hard contact, but fly out a lot on other stadiums. But it doesn't happen on this one. Except that's going to get up. Ken's going to come over to make the play. Pablo. Can't get the ball. Alright, finally does. As weird as that looked with Pablo, he really played that well because if it gets over his head and bounces far, Dimitri is probably taking second and maybe third there. They're going to steal second. We could have predicted that. Doesn't happen, though. Not for us, anyway. The throw doesn't get there. Barry's got a little noodle arm syndrome yet again. Swing and a miss. They will still hear. And the throw is not in time. Yeah, Barry just... There are times when his arm wants to throw hard and other times when it does not. 
That's a screamer. Unfortunately, today is one of those games. Damn, we almost got him at first there. Good hustle, Pete. Today is one of those days where Barry's arm just does not want to throw the ball hard. And we're just going to have to deal with that. They're going to be stealing on us all game. They already have. Little liner. This could be two if we get over to it. She gets back to first safely. First down. Low ground ball. Come on, Ahmed. Touch first. Make the play. Smart throw there. Just get in front of the runners. No need to try and just get too tricky. Get too cute. Get him at second. Just throw it to third. Why not? Another screamer. Who's going to get it off the bounce? And can we get it home in time? Pete. Nice play. Comes all the way over from second. We're going to tag him out of the plate. Pete. That's just incredible defense right there. They do get a run, but it could have been a lot worse. Pete tracks down two screamers. Incredible. That's why Pete can just be so impactful on a field like this. Because he's so fast and can get to anything. Good reactions there. Ahmed pops it up. Not great contact there. They're square dancing. And the ball drops. And they finally get it. Okay. Well, if there's one thing that definitely doesn't go away when you play on this difficulty, it's the computer's stupidity. They're a little better at everything, but they're still real dumb. Another bad pitch, but Pablo simply bounces it. This could be two. They don't cover second in time, though. Pablo saved it first. The call it a single. Really, it's a fielder's choice, but either way, man at first, one out. Derek squares, pops it right up. They bounce into each other. Everyone could be safe. If they catch it, Pablo could be out. And they screw up again. It just turns into T-ball. Literally four players going after the ball there for no reason. Get another double buried. Let's start knocking in some more runs. It's been a minute. Gets inside of that one. Sends it to right center field. Nice hit. To be honest, Mickey has just been throwing terrible, terrible pitches. Really easy hittable pitches. And we haven't really taken advantage until now. Garrett, get back. Or sprint. One of the two. Nice. Two RBIs for Barry. Nine run lead now. Excuse me, 11 run lead now. Big bouncer. So that's another thing about this field. He can get on here. That's a big bouncer. He's going to get all the way into the outfield. Barry running to third. No one's covering home. Oh, it's a race to home. Who's going to get there first? Oh, Barry's out. Had to go for it. Why not? You're up 11. But Barry's questionable 94 speed came into play again there. He's just not as fast as he's supposed to be. Don't throw that pitch to Mikey or anybody. He lines it. He's gonna get down. Ken. Trying to stretch a triple here. A little too cocky. Yeah. No need for that. We put up two runs in the inning, but definitely could have been more. Stars up for her third plate appearance. Hasn't done a whole lot yet. There's a liner. That's gonna hit the wall. Keisha reacts a little bit late. We're gonna throw it a third just to be safe. Smart. Real smart. It's the playoffs, y'all. We can't be playing dumb anymore. We just can't. Gotta make smart defensive plays. Gotta swing at good pitches. We're doing both. Crushed. Again, this can help us. Would be a home run in any other park. Base runners are not moving, and I can't explain that. They should be home. They'll probably still get home. It probably doesn't matter. Best we can hope for right now is an RBI double. And that's what we get. Nice. See, if you get all the way around the bases before they call the double, you do get a home run. One strike spitball. Throwing it to third. Barry, what is your arm today, man? What the hell is that arm strength, dude? He's just not even trying. Can't explain it. Perfect pitch. Really, really nice pitch sequence for Angela there. Just drops two dimes in. Plus a spitball. 
Great strikeout. One down. Little bunt. They're going to try the squeeze play at home. Angel's not going to get there in time. Throw to second. Fuck it. Throw to third. Step back on the mound. Okay. Now a nine run lead. Now Dimitri coming up. Starting to get a little dicey. We have five more outs to get. Let's get them. Excellent. Outstanding use of the fireball there. Worked the heat glitch for a little while. Got two strikes out of it. We wouldn't swing the third one out of the zone, so we used the fireball. Gonna need juice now, but we do get the second out. Four more to go. Second one also doesn't work, but they're gonna steal. Barry's arm did not come to play today. He just left his arm at home. Yeah, we gotta juice up. Screamer. Dang. Nearly got out of that situation. Pablo's gonna sprint to get the ball. Ahmed's gonna come up, throw it to second, in time. Slips and falls, gets tagged out. They do put up three in the inning, but we're still up by eight. We got one more time. Angela, Keisha, Pete. Everybody's hitting today, so Angela's two out of three. is not exceptional, but we love to see it from her. Nice contact. If it doesn't get to the truck, it'll be fought, just like it was. Okay, Keisha's up. Two for four today. Double and a single. Decent contact. Just trying to get something more going. She loves turning on those high inside pitches. Sends that one the other way. Race to the bag. She's safe. Keisha, underrated speed. She really is fast. I forget how fast sometimes, because she's batting near Pete, and he's obviously incredibly fast, but Keisha's he, got some really good speed. Right down the middle of the plate. What are you doing throwing that pitch to Pete? Just giving him an excuse to show off his speed. He'll get the second. Keisha will get the third. And we might leave it at that. We will. The wall keeps it in. Otherwise, that would have been out of play and a run home. Here comes Ahmed. Yet to get out today. Great opportunity for some more RBIs. Everybody having a lot of fun right now. And more RBIs he will get. Pete should be able to make it home from second. Keisha will obviously make it home from third. Ahmed's going to try for second. And he'll be awarded it anyway. On the ground. We'll double. Because the ball gets stuck. Pablo also hasn't gotten out. He has an identical stat line to Ahmed. Another double would keep him level. But we'll take anything. Mickey gets pulled. Gale gets put back in. They are grasping for straws in the pitching department right now. And just another pitch right down the middle. I mean, that's the problem. It's not necessarily that we're hitting so well, or that we're so fast, or that the stadium plays to our, our strengths. It's really more just that they've thrown balls right over the plate in this game. Pablo sprinting home in hopes of a home run. But he'll get held to a double, and him and Ahmed will stay level in the average department and the slugging department and the on-base department. But anyway, yeah, they've just been throwing balls right over the heart of the plate. And that's the issue. Star's coming in. See if she can do anything different. Try to get out of this game. Throws Derek a pitch that he shouldn't swing at, but he pops it up. That'll be one pitch. One out. Two down. Barry's coming up. He's got a pair of doubles. Still basking in the glory of sending us to the playoffs almost single-handedly last game. No need to swing at that. Everybody knew that was a ball out of the hand, but he swings at strike three. And that'll bring up the bottom of the six. We're up 11. Mickey, Jimmy, and Tracy coming up. Three outs to go, and they've been coming fairly easily lately. We're juiced up. Looking good. That's a good start. Little grounder back to Angela. Picks it up in plenty of time. Throws it to Ahmed for the first out. Jimmy hasn't done anything today. He has struck out once. 
Nice little revenge game here. Keeping him at bay. Slow ball low and away. Gets the job done. Pete comes over. Goes it to Ahmed for the second out. One more out to go, guys. And we've got Tracy, who's got the green background. Let's get it right here. Let's get it. Takes a strike. Didn't want to swing at that one. Second strike. You know what time it is, folks. You know what time it is. Time for the game to be over. Fireball strikeout. Right down the middle. Angela throws 71 pitches on the day. Gets 7 Ks. Did have a walk, but an absolutely stellar performance. Do give up 7 runs, but 18 is a good number. A dominant, dominant victory. Over pretty much our rivals, I would call the Phillies at this point. I mean, there's no other team that scares me quite as much as them. No home runs, obviously. No triples. Maybe a little bit more surprisingly, but 10 doubles. 18 single. I mean, we just, we just crushed today. There's no way around it. We absolutely crushed. Just got a lot of shit done today. Really dominated the game from start to finish. And as mentioned, the field really played well to our strengths. 926 slugging, 682 batting average. I mean, the average will go down and the slugging will go up. But we're doing what we need to do right now. That was great. We'll play at home for the next game, so we'll see. We can take care of the Phillies at home. It was a struggle in the first time, but hoping we get it done. But anyway, that'll be the episode. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you later.